I can tell by your nerves that you got, this is very serious, very important to you. It's not something you're doing lightly. And the Bible teaches that reverence, discreet, wisdom, and soberly in a reverent fear of God. This is a holy estate I believe that God has ordained for men and women and for a man and a woman. So today I charge you both as you stand here in the presence of God and these witnesses to remember that love and loyalty is the foundation of a happy home. If the solemn vows you're about to make are kept faithfully and in steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of a heavenly Father, your life will be full of joy. The home you will establish will be full of peace. There are no other ties more tender, no other vows more sacred than those you're about to choose today. Alyssa Marie Devlin, I love you. You are my closest friend, my deepest love, my biggest encourager and favorite adventure buddy. You are the most precious gift that I've ever received and I vow to treasure you with all my love for the rest of my life. I choose today to protect, to provide and to pray for you as we build our family, to encourage and support you in your dreams, to be gentle and sensitive with your heart and to lead our family in God's wisdom and grace from this day forward. friend and deepest love, my safe place and refuge, my place of truth and love, my forever home. Today I promise to you my faithfulness, to partner with you through all of life's highs and lows as we follow God, that together we may grow in the likeness of Christ as our union and home may be a dwelling place for his presence. I choose today to honour and respect you through my words and actions, to support, encourage and pray for you as you step forth in all that God has for you to love you unconditionally and to comfort and care for your heart. I have the joy of pronouncing they are husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You may kiss your spouse. Often used to talk about you, Cain. Try and solve the problem of Cain because we love you and care for you. Like, who's going to be the right person for Cain? And we always thought it needed to be someone who is going to be a little bit sassy because you loved your mansplaining. And uh, I think, Alyssa, you're just the right person to be giving the sass back to Cain. I remember the day that Liz told me that Kane and her were talking, just talking. And whilst she downplayed it, I had a feeling that something was in fact brewing. <laughs> this newfound friendship was forming and my protective older sister instincts began to kick in. Look, I want to say that I was like super cool about it, but I was like, I gave Kane a pretty hard time about it. <laughs> just our love here, again and again. baby, I'd often have complete strangers stop and tell me that he looked like a wise baby or a little wise man, like he's been here before. So obviously proven now based on his wise choice of choosing Alyssa as his wife. I do. Kane is fiercely loyal. He is He's got the heart of a lion. He's one of the most upstanding people with such conviction and as someone who's been by his side for a long time and see him grow through things and take, taken a road that a lot of people would have been too afraid to take. Sometimes chosen seasons in life that may have been lonely. You know, you've taken the hard road many times um, out of conviction, out of calling, and I know that you're reaping the fruit of those seasons now and God's gonna bless you doubly, triple, <laughs> beyond, beyond greatest measure. You have been handed a very special gift. Her name is Alyssa Marie. She is beautiful in heart and in mind, thoughtful, loving and kind. Not just on the odd occasion or here and there, but always. 
She possesses a strength which you'll need, insight and vision to guide you. With her by your side, you will see, conquer and blessing. Take hold of the task set before you, lift her up, hold her tight, but don't smother her. Hear what she has to say. Be patient with each other and remember, forgiveness and grace starts in your home with each other. Get it right in your home and your relationship will grow strong and prosperous, overflowing to those around you. You've always had a unique perspective, a way of seeing people and situations that goes beyond the ordinary. Your ability to understand and empathise with others is a gift that touches lives in profound ways. For what truly sets you apart, Lissy, is your ability to transition from the prophetic and profound to the ridiculous and hilarious in an instant. down to the beach with her and she was so excited and starts trotting off and as she goes come on let's go she put out her hand like this and she said come on let's go and I thought she wanted me to hold her hand because that's what that looks like doesn't it fellas <laughs> so what did I do I reached out I said okay I grabbed the hand she goes what are you doing she goes I was it was a high five I'm like a high five honey a high five <laughs> the rainforest and seeing a dragonfly and see if you can pick it up because I don't think I've ever been able to do that before and she reached out her hand and sure enough the dragonfly quite easily felt comfortable to just rest on her hand. I said a prayer in my heart at that time and I said Lord do you just give me some signs the dragonfly flew off her hand and landed on mine and I've never had that happen to me before and talking to Liz she said something similar in her heart. Little moments like that were special and little treasures. Kane has been, literally, I meant it in my vows, like the greatest gift to my life. Truly a redeeming love. Like I'd never even hoped for, like I even believed that there was something like this for me. I am a far better version of myself when I'm with you. Your love is just the sweetest gift. You're my best friend.